All right, everybody, good morning. Today is October 21st, a wonderful Monday. Oh, wait, today's a Wednesday. Feels like a Monday. Uh, anyways, there's a lot going on. The guys did some overtime. Yeah, they did an extra two hours overtime last night, so we're going to get a, see a little extra more work getting done on my house. So I think... For it. From here on out, they might be doing overtime to get the house done by November 8th. But let's go see what everyone is doing. Alright, so we have this that needs to go into there. And he is working on it, it looks like. So we will see how this goes. And I think it connects, we got a craziness on the electrical in here, so I think that moved over to here. So this, the lines still need to somehow stay in the wall to connect to that. This needs to be done back here, so it's fun. I, I think the electrician needs to do his thing before anything can be repaired and fixed and done. Alright, so attempt number one. I think we're going to darken it up. For the bathroom. Separator. Yeah, it's a... I'm not sure what color of brown that is. But it don't... I'm not really a fan of it. So the guys were busy last night. They worked their two hours of overtime. And... They got this done, this little section, and they're getting this section done. <laughs> and we got painting going on, we got all kinds of stuff going on today. So even though it's raining, we're still getting painting going on on the outside. So I'm not sure exactly how well that's going to work because it is really moist. And the humidity is high, so I don't know. I know these guys do it on a normal, regular basis, even with a high humidity. They still keep uh, plugging away at painting and stuff. And they get moved along good. And uh, the tiler is getting smoked out by the tile dust. All right, so my husband is going to install our cat flap door. Trying to. <laughs> this is not made for cement. It's made for uh, a little bit of wood or something, but it's uh, becoming an adventure. So we have to redo the color of the tubular separator with our master bathroom and Kuya is darkening it. My husband says the first coat looks like a poo. <laughs> now we have to make it like at least a real brown or espresso brown or walnut. Alright guys, so they're working on our electrical outlet for our stove since we got an american version of a stove things are a little bit different but as always so i ah, no problem we're good so now we're having to do some rewiring um special outlet and we're blowing out some of this nice wall that was done let's go take a look and see what's going on on the back side of this all the way to the power panel so that little hole right here is going to come out and it's going to go down here on the ground and then run all the way down here and then up this wall through that hole that they're building right now. Rework. And killing a whole bunch of wall. And other concrete. But 
I mean, something gets forgot about or uh, that will be something different. And, uh, well, unfortunately, we've got to do some rework and rewiring from uh, one section to another. They just had a regular old 220 volt. And this is the loveliness of the other side to our breaker. It's getting yeah, a little dirty. But uh, there's the hole. Everything's gotten blown out. So he can put it in right there. <sighs> Luckily, we have an extra breaker. It's only a 20 amp, and I think we need a 40 amp breaker for that heavy duty stove. But it is a wonderful afternoon. These guys are finishing up the ceiling up here. So. Actually, not sure what's going on because I still actually asked them to remove those and put them down further because the CCTV is going to be in the way. It's just going to block everything whenever we do laundry. Look at that. It is all torn up. Electrical line is in for our, ga uh, for our range. And they ran it all the way along here so they'll bury it into the tile. So, if we ever have to retile, we're going to have fun. And we have also our water lines all running through there. So, the fun. I guess as long as I remember that it's all there, there's the piping right there. So, I'm sure they're going to have fun with that. And uh, for this, they're just going to cap it off. because There's nothing else we can do about it because... It's all connected to this. So, we're going to cap it off, make it look as decent as possible for the electrical outlet on here. Alright, and look at that. So there is the little partition area. It's open. Yes, it is. It looks a lot better than the first one. It's more brownish. Ah, good morning everybody. You see what's going on? They got the ceiling in for the dirty kitchen. It is done. Sorry for the turn around. But anyways, they are sealing up the seams and fixing everything. I know they got some more welding to do and fix these big holes since we switched the metal yes we switched the metal cctv cameras will not be blocked by laundry my big selling underwear that's that's the thing that's the big problem right there it'll be blocking the cctv well it's looking like this cabinet is staying the way it is i guess it's not getting flipped turned or anything else so not sure where the little cap thing is on that, but hey, the other two sinks are the right way. Even we went to uh, CW, and they actually had. We go back and look at the videos. They actually have it exactly like this on the videos too at CW. So I'm not sure, but definitely don't fit completely right, but. Is this gonna when the water comes down right there is gonna be yellow? But uh, there's our rest of the drawer cabinet things, and we need a little bit better hose there for the toilet. Other than that, and we need a glass piece right along here, and this uh, bed, this bathroom be considered as done, other than. It needs some grout on the tiles, it's looking like. Um, there is grout around the walls. They got that done yesterday. I don't know if you can see it. They use this gray, sort of a dark gray. To me, it sort of looks like it's unfinished because it's gray. It looks like the cement behind it that they used. All right, so I guess our little surprise is our stone for our future walls. We got lots and lots of it. So our three entertainment areas, we have this stone right here. It's looking like will be our back. 
for the TVs and stuff. So, and I got it marked out here where, where the electrical is because it is so tight. I mean, I guess what's going to happen if it's too tight, I'll just redrill the, the mounting bracket for the TV. Well, uh, it'll be on one side or the other. We'll make it work. And we still have the little drawers for myself's little desk to be put together. And the fun. Looking like they are getting ready to put our counter in. And we got the window cleaner. He's actually taking like the paint, the cement, the skim coat off everything, cleaning everything up. But uh, yeah, this is still a sight for those sore eyes. This thing is uh, Jimmy rigged in here still. We got uh, big gaps and the yes. But anyways, he's cleaning it up. A little streaky. A high pressure hose. Later on, we'll take care of all this problem. I'll uh, at some point go and get a pressure washer. Once everything is done, and pressure wash the house and clean it all up and beautify the place. All right. Good afternoon. The guys are busy. Actually cleaning up around the place. This is a new a new scene right here. I haven't seen them clean in a while since uh, Cleototo was around when I was having him uh, clean out the front because I kept getting uh, flat tires out here from the, the rivets and the little metal pieces out on the road. But uh, and a lot of things getting cleaned up. I know all the paint cans are all gone. We have tons of them here. Oh, the fun, the painting, retouch up of the prison bars or safety bars. Look at that. The ceiling is pretty much done. I just got to put the skim coat over it. Sand, well, they're going to sand it, skim coat it and everything. And look what they did. And they welded up a couple more bars in here for our laundry our wonderful laundry system in here things are getting done all right look what made it upstairs here's the sliding door for our entertainment area so that made it here actually looking like this room is almost complete other than uh, electrical issues. I hope an easy quick fix for these guys. Um, some grouting in the in the floor needs to be done. But for that, and then we have our entertainment wall. But for painting, it looks like it's done in here. All right, and we had a special order of a bed frame. It's the American King size. It's like 72 by 68 or something. Uh, I'm not sure. I might have got that wrong. But it is uh, pretty big. The outside wood is mahogany. Yes, we used a lot of mahogany. We killed a couple trees in doing our house. And we still got some more stuff on order. Kristen really has some beautiful uh, wood at his house. And uh, we we like it, so we ordered a bunch of different furnitures and other odds and ends from him, including our American Standard King Size Bed. The Queen Size right now is a little bit short for me. My literally, I can hang my toes off our little bed right now. That is a Queen Size, and I'm short. I'm five seven on a regular day five eight on a good day <laughs> all right and our entertainment wall is almost done and i am saying there is four little strips of a tile on that little edge right there that isn't done i mean it looks really good 
Christian actually has done this on a different wall in one of his houses. It looks pretty cool. And um, actually, our wall is a little bit different than theirs. They actually had a like a little bump out with LEDs back behind it around a monster TV. Ours is a uh, not gonna be such a monster TV. It's just a little 55 inch TV. All right, and they looks like they've got a, quite a bit done. They skim coated this completely up and down yesterday. It looks like they uh, got some paint laid down over here too. And they painted all this and squared everything up. Our little kickboard. And you see down here, that's going to be our little rain gutter for the water to run off. I'm not sure if they're doing anything else down this to make it any fancier looking. I'm not sure. Uh, I think they are because it's just the ground right there. I know they got to seal it up. And here is our other barn door for our bedroom. Looking good. I don't know if you guys can see it. We are all concerned, me and I saw we're about this one little patch job. It looks like a scrape in it. Other than that, that's the only thing, but it's the characteristics of it, so it stays. Beautiful door though. It's gorgeous. We like that natural finish on it. And look at that. That is amazing. It's mounted. It has its doors on. I know they're waiting on Onan to come and do the plumbing works for the sinks. Other than that, it is almost done. We got our drawers. Slow closing doors. Well, maybe. Uh, See, 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 look at that. Look how nice and slow. I know everybody says, ah, they'll, they'll get broken in sooner or later. It's fine. They'll, they'll close a little bit faster. It's okay. Our toilet is the same way. We have the easy close or slow close uh, toilet lid. <laughs> oh. oh, no battery. Voila. <laughs> Looks like the drill is done. All right, and finally, we stayed a little extra and to watch them put our bed together. So I was wrong. I thought we were having plywood, but we get slats. So. There it is. They're going to do the clear coat on the wood. Um, we'll see tomorrow how that goes. Or, well, they'll put the little Bondo stuff on it and then sand and, and then they'll clear coat it and put the chemicals on it so it'll be all nice and treated. Alright everybody, I hope you all enjoyed today's video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you have not subscribed. And don't forget to hit that little bell button down there in the corner to get notified the next time we put out a video. Thank you and goodbye.